Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got an OBS tutorial for you. If you don't know what OBS is, it's a free software that lets you stream and record desktops, and it does a lot and has a lot of functionality to it. It's an awesome program, and I recommend getting it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to record your screen. In the description, I provided a link to download OBS, so go ahead and click that, follow it to their website, download and install the program. Now I'm going to start this tutorial assuming you are right at the point where I am, where you have the program installed and loaded up. Right now I am currently am recording my screen to show you this, but I'm going to show you how I got to that point. So first thing is, when you have OBS up, it'll have this thing called Scenes and Sources and Mixer, and it'll have a bunch of stuff like that. You'll get to be pretty familiar with this stuff in the future if you continue to use OBS, but right now I have a bunch of scenes already, but I'm just going to make a new one. So yours is probably going to be blank. So go ahead and press the plus sign and you're going to create a new scene and name it whatever you want. Once you've done, hit OK. I'm going to hit Cancel for right now because I'm going to be using this scene to give you the demonstration. So once you have that, it's going to be blank. You're just going to see the name of your scene right here and then nothing in the sources. Sources is where it's at. Right now I have my middle monitor, but to get something like that, if you press the plus sign, it gives you a ton of options. You can record audio, browsers, displays, games, whatever's connected. If you have a capture card, it can detect that. You could do a lot of stuff with that. But we're going to go with a display capture because a monitor is your display. So once you do display capture, I already have the middle monitor set up because I have a three monitor set up. You're going to do create new and call it whatever you want. Let's just say left monitor for me. And you can name it whatever you want. Hit OK. Then you're going to see a drop down right here with a capture cursor. So you can choose to record your mouse or not. In the drop down, it's going to have a list of all your displays that are connected that it detects. So I have all three of mine right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit display two, which is my left monitor. Hit OK. We have my left monitor right here, which is perfect. So that's the first part. So I brought OBS over here to show you the next part, which we need to get the settings taken care of. So to do that, we need to go to settings button down here. And then it's going to bring up a list of a ton of options. Most of this you don't need to worry about for right now. So what we need to go is go straight down to video. Now here's what you're going to want to change. Your base resolution and your output resolution. You can record in any resolution and it will scale it to a secondary resolution. This is good for streamers like if they have a poor internet connection or something not as fast as broadband or anything like that. They can record in 1080p and scale it down to 720p or something like that just so they can pump out a video and not really tank their bandwidth. So for me, let's just assume you have a 1080p monitor. So we're going to make this one 1080p and this one 1080p. And then your common FPS, you're going to want to change that to either 29.97 or 59.94. Those are the two most common frame rates. But if you want to go for a really smooth experience like you're seeing right now, that's in 60 frames a second. And so once you've done that, hit apply, then OK. So next, let's reopen back up settings. And then we need to go to the output. So let's go over to the recording tab because we're not streaming right now, we're just going to be recording the desktop. And this is where you can tell it your recording path. I just have mine at the one of the beginning folders of one of my hard drives. Audio tracks, you can select multiple audio track inputs. The recording format, I really like MP4. It gives you the best quality and file size mixture. You can do MOV and any of these other ones. MOV is probably going to be some higher quality, but it's going to be a huge file size. So I like to stick with MP4. The encoder, you can do H.264 or you can do the H.264 above it. We want to make sure we're not rescaling the output unless you want to, so keep that unchecked. Keep this one blank. So the rate control, here's what a lot of people see and get confused about. CBR means constant bit rate. It's going to try to keep the bit rate at an exact number you tell it to, so you're not going to see much pixelation. Average bit rate means that depending on what kind of goes on in your screen, your bit rate will fluctuate a little bit. That's what ABR is. Variable bitrate means it's going to fluctuate a lot more. And then CRF down here is the best one, constant rate factor. This one, you don't really determine any bitrate. You just tell it a quality ranging from 0 to 51. The lower the number, the better the quality. The higher the number, the lower the quality. Also, the lower you go, the bigger the file size is going to be. So I keep mine at 15. Anything beyond that, you really can't tell. And this keeps it at a pretty decent file size as well. Keyframe interval, I keep that at zero, so it can just determine that automatically if it needs to or not. As for the CPU usage, I know I have a very good processor. It's a Ryzen 1800X. I keep mine at ultra fast because I want it to use the processor to encode and to record a very smooth video. But basically, if you put ultra fast, it's going to demand a higher processor, and if you put placebo, it can demand a lower processor, but the quality is going to suffer a little bit. So just kind of judge where your processor's at for this one. Profile, none tune none and keep that one blank and then once you've done that hit apply and okay 
and then your recording is ready to go. Your screen recording will be of the highest quality if you stick with these settings. And that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If that helped you out at all or if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.